Hi, I'm Dale from MVM Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a review of the Jamelo Dynamic Mic Preamp. Hi, Dale from MDM Reviews. Uh, I recently purchased the Jamelo Dynamic Mic Preamp, um, and one of the first questions I think um, would come to mind is for people who record is, well, do I need one? And I'll, I'll say from experience for a long time, I actually recorded podcasts and even videos um, without one. You know, I never even um, knew about them, ne never knew they existed. The other day I was actually searching about videos on um, the Loop Deck Live and I came across a video that mentioned a, a dynamic um, microphone preamp. So, you know, of course, it, it sparked my interest. So I went to it and watched a few videos. And sure enough, um, the people who did um, a demonstration on them, I was like, wow, this is, it's, it's like the, it's like the tool that you never really knew that you needed. Now, I will say for most people, you can really get by without one. I know I did for years. Like I said, I record, I record podcasts. Me and my wife have a podcast titled About This Love. I'll actually link it in the description below. So if you want to check it out and even the videos that I record on YouTube of re reviewing products, I, I always use a dynamic microphone and I've never even thought about it because one of, one of the workarounds, um, with not having one is that you can just, um, turn, turn up the gain or you can just add, um, you know, to post-production, you can add a compressor, a limiter, or just turn the gain up on, on the, whatever, um, video editing software that you're using. So it's definitely not a tool that you need, but what I would say is that you really would want to use one is if you're, um, doing live shows or if you're doing podcasts, cause it would actually, um, it actually helps to keep the gain low. Now I will say, um, I'll show you on screen in a moment, but like I said, it's the tool that I never know, never knew that I needed. And as I was recording, um, the video, I was like, wow, because for years I got, by, I got by without having one. I'm, I'm, I'm sure most of you watching this video, you know, same to you. So it's, it's not really a tool that you need, but I would say that, um, it's definitely a tool that you would want to get. And, um, you know, when you start doing your searches, you'll see, um, I, a lot of them are priced uh, very expensive. I've seen some for 30 bucks, 40, 50, all the way up to a hundred. And there was one that people, you know, um, really, uh, kind of swore by, but I'm not doing a review on that one. So I won't mention it, but the one that I did get is right here, the Jamelo. And, um, I'm going to screw this real quick. Right here. And you can see it has the female part and it has the male part. The female part, you just click into your microphone. Now they say that you, um, some videos were saying that you don't want to put it on the actual um, preamp or mixer itself, but in the actual instructions to the Jamelo um, Dynamic Mic preamp, it actually shows a picture of you putting it in the preamp or in the mixer, which is how I have it ran. Um, so it's, it's, it's not a problem if, if you just put it in the mixer or preamp. Um, itself by preamp I mean interface um and, and you do have to use phantom power to use them which is really one of the work was really kind of weird um I wouldn't say weird but it's different because coming from a, a place where I've used dynamic microphones and compressor I'm sorry not compressor um condenser microphones you usually only use phantom power for condenser microphones and usually dynamic microphones don't really require um phantom power but I guess this right here it does require phantom power. And I'll say that the moment I plugged it in, I was blown away because one of the things you don't really realize, and again, I've, I'm sure like many of you, I've recorded for years podcasts and never really, never really paid attention to the gain. But the moment I put the, I put the um, preamp on and turn the phantom power up without even touching the volume on my mixer, I was like, oh my goodness, there was a huge difference. I mean, a huge difference. You can even listen to it. And even if I was to use it recording a podcast, I actually would keep turning the game down low because it's so much gain. It's like, wow, it's it, it, it's like a breath of fresh air. Um, But it's it's a product that I feel many people probably will go, will go out and buy. I saw this on Amazon for fairly affordable. It was under under 20 bucks. And they have a coupon attached to it as well. I got two of them. So I have one plugged into my mixer, which I'm actually using for this video. And the other one that I have right here, 
that I don't have plugged in, you know, to my other uh, uh, microphone. I have I have two microphones. Um, when me and my wife do a podcast, she has her um, her microphone. Um, this is my microphone. Hers is over here on the side. I don't really um, have it. I really don't use it or plug it up unless we're doing a podcast. So there's no need for me to have the, um, the Jamelo plugged up right now. Plus, I wanted to be able to show you because it's one of the things like, well, how you how you how you using it and telling us about it at the same time, you know, which is a good question, you know. So, I, I, like I said, I, I have the Jamelo plugged in right now to the microphone that I'm using and the one that's uh, from, from, from my wife's mic I don't have plugged in, you know, because I wanted to be able to show you. And it comes in a, a box like this right here. Let me turn it around for you. And I try to pull it out, but I realize that if I just open the box up and, and push it, it's better. So that's kind of what I did. Um, so yeah, this is this is the Jamelo that I mean, like preamp. Um, I have another one that I ordered on eBay, but it's actually coming from China. It, it's it's I think it was around twelve, thirteen bucks, and I got it because I just wanted to do a review. And one of the things that I do is that I try to buy products that people don't really review or really haven't gotten. And oftentimes people kind of bypass these um, no name um, items. And, and again, I understand why, you know, um, but me, I'm all about a bargain. If I can get something for a good price and it does a good job, I'm all for it. Um, I recently reviewed some microphones that were kind of like the uh, Blue Yeti knockoffs, but as I said, I've used them for years, never had a problem with them. And I will say that those who, who get the uh, the Jamelo or any kind of that I mean, mic preamp? You'll definitely be um, glad that you did. Now, again, is it a tool that you need? No, it's not a tool that you need. Um, you can definitely get by w- without it. I'm sure people have gotten by without it for years, like myself. But I didn't know about them, you know. And once I once I found out about them, I did my research and um, I bought I bought a cheap one. You know, I watched I looked at the YouTube reviews. The one that I bought, the YouTube reviews were, were pretty good. So I was like, hey. Why not just go ahead and, and buy that one? And I bought it with the intention that if if it was if it wasn't good or if it, if it had noise in the lines or noise while I was recording, I was I was going to return it. I mean, it, it's it's thirteen fourteen bucks. I, I mean, I didn't really lose anything, you know. And if I would turn it, I get my money back anyways. So um, right now I'm going to take you on screen and show you. So here we go, right here. Right here, it's the one that I bought, J- Jamelo, inline microphone preamp. And um, these are for the enemy microphones. Um, do not get this microphone for a condenser mic because you could possibly ruin your microphone just to give you the heads up. These microphones, I mean, these preamps are only for dynamic microphones. And they tell you that um, down below. And it, it tells you that it adds 28 dB of clean gain. And it, it's true. It does. You know, it, it, it definitely does add that, um, give you that, that extra boost with your volume, which you giving you the ability to, to keep your volume on your dynamic mic- microphone low, because usually people who record with a dynamic microphone, you know, you you have to have your gain high, because most dynamic microphones um, are they come in at negative fifty six dB, so that's like I'm, I'm sorry, fifty four, fifty four. Most of them come in at negative fifty four. Some of them fifty, some of them even higher. Some of them lower, but. The uh the purpose of a dynamic microphone is that it doesn't pick up background noise. You know when you when when you're talking, um a condenser microphone on the other hand, those kind of microphones are generally used for recording purposes or record recording um applications like music or, or you know you can you can use them in broadcasting. Me and my wife we we did use ours um for a couple years for podcasts. And again, you would have to I would have I would have to go in there and add a, a noise reduction to kind of keep out all that background noise but it's not a real issue you know um at all but um this is a product like i said it was 19 bucks they have the coupon right there um 12 off once you put that in i, I think I, I think i paid about 16 or 17 bucks for both which is not a bad deal at all and i'll definitely leave a link to this in the description so if you if you want to get it you definitely can um, i'm going to actually be reviewing another one that i purchased on ebay but it's coming from china um, and it, it'll be a couple weeks before, <laughs> before I get here. That's why I went ahead and bought this one because I really wanted to um, try it out. I was really eager. So um, real quick, I'm going to go and show you what it sounds like um, real quick. Here's my mixer, the Zoom Live Track 8. And right here, I have the Jamelo Dynamic pre- Preamp hooked up, as you can see. And this is what I have the volume on. And I kept it that way when I was recording the audio with it 
on and with it off as well. So I didn't change anything. So right here, the first um, audio recording that I did was without the um, preamp, the um, the Jamelo um, preamp. And let's hear what it sounds like real quick. This is a recording without the uh, Jamelo preamp, just to kind of give you a good idea of what it sounds like without the preamp. And I'm going to keep the volume and everything the same when I record with the preamp. So that's what it sounds like without it. And here's what it sounds like with the Jamelo preamp. This is the recording with the Jamelo um, preamp um, on. And you can tell from the recording. Um, you can even see from the actual um, wave pictures that it's much um, louder. It, it's, you know, you can hear it's, it's, it's much clearer as before and again i didn't do anything to the gain on the mixer i did nothing at all i didn't change it it's, it's, it was halfway with it off and i was halfway with it on you can tell the difference in the audio quality in fact if i was recording with it i would actually turn the gain down on the mixer because to me this is a bit too hot so as you heard for yourself what it sounds like with it and without it you can definitely hear a difference you can definitely notice a difference and like i said for 19 bucks um even if even if the um the sell or they didn't offer a coupon on amazon you, you, you're paying 40 bucks for, for two preamps for that, that i mean microphones this that's, that's not a bad deal uh, actually when, you know if you go like i said when you, if you go on um youtube and search up that i mean mic uh, preamps you, you'll see that some cost 80 to 100 plus dollars so again um i'm not somebody that's i don't care about name i just want i care about the quality and can it do what the company who makes it says it can do. And the answer for that one is yes, it can do what they say it can do. They say it adds 28 um, dB and that's what it did. Um, like I said, I, I just, I, I don't fabricate my videos. I try to keep them as authentic as possible. You can hear for yourself. Is it a tool that you would want to buy? I would say if you're somebody like me that for you want to use it just for YouTube videos or um you, you know things like that I would say I I wouldn't get it only because if your videos are pre-recorded and you go in and edit them I mean you can always just add a add a uh, a compressor or a limiter or just turn the game up gain up on the actual video editing software so for those purposes no I wouldn't get it if you're doing live YouTube videos and if you're doing a podcast then yes I would get it and because it would give you that extra gain the extra wiggle room cuz usually when I record my podcast my gain on my mixer is is almost is dang near maxed out, but it doesn't it doesn't do anything to my the actual audio because it's a dynamic microphone and it's already negative fifty four dB anyways. So you, you really don't tell the difference. And like I said, most of the time when I do um, edit my podcast and and videos that I I do on on YouTube that are not done live, I go in and I add a gain a, um, compressor or a limiter anyway. So it's not really a, a big a big deal um so, but if you're somebody who just wants to get it because you want to have it i would say get it i mean it's not you're not breaking the bank with spending 40 bucks for two uh, most people you know unless you have um, a studio like myself a small studio you know, most the average person only only needs one so you're gonna spend 19 bucks for one so hey that's not that's, that's not that's not bad it's, it's a great great deal um you know in in, in my book again dell from indie Indie reviews thank you for um, checking out my video Please let me know, um, you know, where you, do you find yourself, you know, um, needing one? Do you plan on purchasing one? I would love to hear more from you. Um, just to, just kind of, you know, what do you think? Do you think it's something that you need or not, you know? And again, thank you for um, watching my video. Please subscribe and please hit the like button. It helps the channel out, you know, um, and again, peace.